Alright, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Champion 49 and, um, sorry for the extra noise in the background, I am, I just had a new air conditioner put into my, um, bedroom, and that is, like, hard right now. So, today, I got another unboxing video for you guys. It is a used console, but that was cheaper, and that was all I could afford. I would have liked to get a new one, but fuck it, whatever. We got a PS4 today. Well, I have had it for a couple days now, but I just now decided to start getting the um, video up because I wanted to show it off. Um, I played it a little bit to get how it felt, but I've I this is its original box that came in when I got it. All the stuff inside is the original stuff, and yeah, so let's get right in, alright? Alright, so, first, we got the games that I got for it, that are not digital. I only have one digital game for that, and that is Kitten Squad, made by PETA. Fuck you, PETA. I feel bad that I even downloaded your game to try it out. Alright, so, I might be deleting you after this video. Anyway, so... We got first game. We got Killzone Shadowfall. I heard that the graphic, I heard that the graphics for this game are really great, really really nice. So, um, we got Killzone Shadowfall. Plus, for I like first person shooters. I'm more into third person shooters and shit like that. But I'm okay with first persons, especially with the Fall, Far Cry series and Fallout. Um, we got Elder Scrolls Online. Um, I do have a PlayStation Plus membership, but it's almost out, like, it's almost expired, so, um, I will be renewing my Plus membership here in a little bit, but, like I just said, but back to the root thing, we got Elder Scrolls Online, I'm psyched to play it, because I heard that it was shit, well, like, it wasn't shit, but, like, boring as hell, and tedious, so... I'm hoping that they patch that in. Plus, it's an Elder Scrolls game. I love the Elder Scrolls series. So, yeah. Now we got Mortal Kombat X. I'm super excited about this one. I played it a bit. Um, I'm only like two chapters into the story mode. But, um, I mostly I'm in the towers and the single fight mode and shit like that. Haven't tried the online yet. Dying Light, I fucking love this game. We got, so, I've played that a bit. I've played all of these games a tiny bit. I think that the only game that I haven't played much of is Killzone. I only played it for like five minutes last night. Um, got Watch Dogs. Um, Walmart Edition. Even though I got you from GameStop, from Vegas, etc. Okay. That's like the time where I bought a fucking video games, etc. Like, I got a controller for at video games, etc. And, um, they said game, it had, like, the GameStop on it for PS2. Now we got the game that I was super excited about. Well, me and all my friends were, but when, once we played it, we found out that it's nothing that special. Like, yes, it's a good game, but it's nothing that special. We got the new Doom. Um, I like it. I like it more than my friends do. But I can see why they say that. It's nothing that special. I feel like the first games were a little better. But then again, with Doom, you can't beat the originals. You can't beat Doom 1 and 2. So, yeah. Now we got the power cord. It's a little... I tried putting the rubber band back on it, but I couldn't get it. Thank God doesn't have, like, the huge, like, end thing like my old PS3 did with, like, the big bulky plug-in that goes into the system. This one's smaller, and I'm happy about that because it means that I have to struggle with putting it less, putting it in, plugging it in less. We got the HDMI cord. I'm probably not going to be using this HDMI cord very often. Well, probably never because I have an HDMI cord. I kept the one from my PS3, which reminds me, I still... I sold my PS3 and all my PS3 games and my Wii U and all my Wii U games just to get a PS4 and some games with it. With it. 
And I got another an extra thing, but I'll bring that up here in a minute. Um, so it's a sh it was a shame to see them go, but I don't regret the sell yet. Um, but I will be rebuying a PS a PS3 in the games and my Wii U in the games. I'll be rebuying all that stuff as time goes on. Cause I'm not giving those things up for re for the rest of my life. Hell no. Those were way too good to give up for the rest of my life. But yeah, so I kept the uh, HDMI cord that I had with my PS3. And, um... I have, I think, a few extra spares around here somewhere. But this is the one that came with the PS4. Not using it because I don't have any use for it right now. Because I still have to work on my PS3. Alright. Now we got the controller charger. It's basically just a micro USB cord. Um, let's see, it's got the little slid ass thing right there. I hope you guys can see that. Um, so, we got it. Um, nothing that special. Alright, now we got the controllers. I like the look and the feel of the controls way more than the PS3 ones. They're way more comfortable to, like, hold. Um, I like the touchpad that's right here, but it's also a button. I don't like it too awful much. Like, I'm probably barely gonna be, I'm gonna, probably gonna be like my friend Sir Russell Bish. He says that he does, he thinks that's kind of stupid. I like it, personally, I like it a little bit, but I agree that there's, like, almost no use for it. Because you swipe in this way, but at the same time, I got kills on Shadowfall, and that game requires you to use it to, for the owl type thing or whatever. From what I've heard, I haven't made it that far yet. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but I've been hearing that with Shadowfall, you need to like swipe on it to get what you need faster and shit. Um, I don't have Fallout 4 yet, sadly, but I'll be picking that up sometime. Same with Uncharted 4, I don't have it yet, but I'll be picking it up. Um, so yeah, here's the new controller. I like the light bar, it's kind of nice. Like, it looks kind of weird, but when you're actually playing a game and it lights up, especially with GTA 5, um, 3 Bros. Mission used to have, like, be borrowing your copy of it, and, um, when he got a wanted level, it was like blink between red and blue or something, and I thought it was kind of cool. Um, and now we plug it into the headphones and shit in the here, I guess. See, this is where you plug in the, um, charger. And now here's this extra thing. We got another PS4 controller. I'm not going to bother showing this one off to you guys. Um. This is the one that I'm going to only use when I'm playing a game on Steam because some games do have PS4 controller support without third-party software like Rocket League. I don't have any third-party controller support and I was able to like play Rocket League with that with this controller last night until like 5 in the morning. <laughs> um, I'll this controller will be only for when I'm playing games on Steam and for the second player because I also got two controllers just so that way me and my friends can play together on split screen and shit without them having to have their own controllers. Now, the main event. I was I was going to show off like a, um, a voucher type of booklet that my friend got with his like that comes with every new PS4 but sadly, um, I wasn't able to get that because it was a pre-owned console, but whatever. Um, the same with the, um, with the little headset, like the earbud headset that people get with it. I w didn't get one of those because it, it didn't come with it either, but whatever. I bet you can get them on, like, eBay for like maybe a dollar, a cent. Uh, oh, that, no, that's just my receipt for the shit that I traded in. Now, we got a newer model of a PS4, because it doesn't have the glossy shit on the top of it. I don't, that's kind of sad. I like the look of the gloss, but at the same time, I'm also kind of happy about it, too, because um, 
it'll be like a fucking fingerprint magnet. <laughs> so yeah, here's the PS4 itself. It looks like a big ass eraser. Like no joke. It looks like a big eraser. I like the little like light bar right here that's on it. It's kinda nice. Um when I first got the console I was just like and I took it out, I'm just like, where is the like where's the power button? And the eject button. They're right here. So yeah. And then we also got the disc tray right here, which I didn't find out about until, like, an hour after owning the console. Um, and then back here we got all the ports. So, yeah. And about the thing that I was talking about where, like, it's slimmer, slicker and shit, I like it because you can just go, like... Boop, there's the birds and the bees. But with my PS3, I'd always have to like wiggle it to get it in or out. And yeah. But if I do get, when I do get another P a new PS3, um, I'm gonna be getting one of the 500 gigabyte models because the 160 gigabytes for how many games I had, and I didn't even have a whole shit ton. Like, yes, I had a lot, but like I didn't have as much as some people do. I mean, 160 gigabytes ain't enough to handle that. So yeah, the PS4, I like it. Up we got Sony Computer Entertainment, PS4, and then the PlayStation logo. Wait a minute. Oh my god! <laughs> I just noticed that I had that shirt on. So yeah, we got all this good shit. I'm gonna go play some Doom. Well, no, I'm probably gonna go play some either Dying Light or Mortal Kombat X. Probably Dying Light. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Um, I will be getting more PS4 games. Don't worry about the PS3 and Wii U videos, guys. Those will be coming back eventually. But as for right now, all you guys are going to be seeing from me is PC and PlayStation 4 gameplay. Well, not PC because my PC is fucking shit. So you guys will see mainly PS4 videos from me from now on. And Wii U videos and PS3 videos will be coming back eventually. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.